Hello and welcome to Vintage Backyard RC. Well today is a great day because we're going to be running our Kyosho Ultimo re-release kit. Now as you may or may not know, this is the first car that my daughter and I built together from kit form up until final product, so I have a tremendous amount of sentimental value in this vehicle. We'll be running our 25.5 brushless motor, our Tekken ESC, and our LiPo battery. The same system that we use in all of our pro cars. Now normally I'd cut away to a video montage and explain in detail about the vintageness of this car, release date, suspension bits, but I'm not going to do that. And there's a reason for it. See, Kyosho decided to change quite a few bits on this car and why it looks like an original Ultima and even builds like an original Ultima. Uh, some of the things they changed are quite significant. First and foremost is the gearbox. The new car has a sealed bevel gear differential you can actually change the viscosity of the fluids in that. It's also metal gears, a higher pitch count on the gears, and most importantly, they gave us a slipper differential, something that wasn't offered in the original gearbox in 1987. They also included longer shocks of a bigger bore. Now, to make up for that longer shock distance, they also included different shock towers over the shorter aluminum jobs from 1987. Also that's different from this kit to the original kit are the wheels and tires. Now the original car used a 2.0 rear tire and a 1.9 front tire where this uses modern 2.1 tires and soft little nubby rear tires. Totally different, not the hard rocks that we had back in 1987. So that's it. Uh, it is different. It's not truly vintage. So I'm not going to treat this like a vintage video. We're just going to get the car out, make some laps, run the slow-mo, have a chat and enjoy ourselves. So stay tuned. Let's rock. Okay friends, that was a clean run, the car had zero issues, we ran lots of laps, and it was fun. So without further ado, the Kyosho Ultima Riri did it in. Eleven point one one seconds. Wow, I can't believe it. The Tamiya Fox was almost as fast as our pro car Kyosho Ultima. Now, the silver can motors are about the same speed as the 25.5, but I figured this advanced suspension would mop the floor of that plastic wonder, but it didn't. So, what's wrong with this car? Well, let's hit the slow motion and have a chat about it. Stand by. Alright guys, now that Fox is a pretty good car, but comparing it to the Ultima, well, it's night and day. So what happened here? Well, in my opinion, the front tires that Kyosho gives you with this kit are terrible. They're hard as a rock, they feel like they're made out of PVC, and when you combine them with the nice soft rear tires they give you, it's a recipe for disaster. This car pushed like a dump truck through every apex. I was having to tap the brake just to get the car to rotate. It was no good. In fact, with a set of softer front tires, 
I guarantee you this car will be three to four tenths faster per lap. But you guys know that's not what we do here. We try to keep the car as close to stock as possible, and this was stock. So I recommend, if you're gonna build this car, get yourself a set of softer front tires. On the positive side, this car ran great all day. We had zero issues with the buggy, power delivery was nice and smooth, and the suspension was plush. Typical great Kyosho quality. So what do I think? Well, I like this car. I had a great time building it with my daughter. It's very high quality and very sturdy, but I sorta wish Kyosho didn't give us all these upgrades. I kinda wanted to have the car in its original form. Maybe that's just me, because I'm old school and I'm vintage. Other than that, it's a great car. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please ring that bell, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't.